So, I was watching a video by the Kermudgan. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, you should all be subscribed to him, by the way, because he's kind of undersubbed. But anyways, yeah, I was watching his video, and the topic of the video was Shock of God. So, Shock of God apparently wants to challenge a very famous atheist to a debate. Oh my god. If I really could facepalm as much as I wanted to, my hand would go right through my head right about now. Now, this brings me to my topic of the day, which is why I sometimes won't accept a debate or discussion challenge from, let's say, a theist or a creationist. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like discussions, I do like debates, I really do. And to a certain extent, I do discuss things with people in the comment section of my videos, provided that they're polite, provided that they have a good point to make, or maybe that they might be misinformed, and I might be able to help them on a certain issue. But when someone like Shock of God wants to challenge me to a debate, and I've had quite a few people already, even with my low subscriber count, challenge me to a debate, then I start to scratch my head and wonder, are they seriously expecting me to accept their challenge? As you can see, I'm clearly not afraid of a debate or a discussion, because I have them all the time. And even if I was extremely uneducated compared to, let's say, a theologian or a creationist with some PhD, I would be happy to have a discussion like that because, well, at least I could learn. But with creationists and theists like Shock of God, who challenge me to a debate, you are honestly out of your damn fucking minds if you think that I would say yes. I do not intend to sit there in a room for hours at a time presenting the facts that I have spent hours researching to someone who pulled something off Creation Wiki in five minutes. I also don't intend to give people like Shock of God a platform of credibility when they've done absolutely nothing to earn my respect. I'm not saying you have to be nice to me. I don't care if you're nice to me or not. But I at least demand respect as an equal, if anything else. And Shock of God does not treat atheists like equals. He thinks that we should go to jail just because we don't believe in the same things he does. He thinks that we should go to hell, suffer for eternity, just because we don't believe in his sky daddy. And worst of all, he thinks he can treat atheists in any way he sees fit just because, once again, we don't believe in God. That sort of bigotry and intolerance to me is something that is indicative of someone who doesn't want to actually debate, who's, who doesn't want to actually have a discussion, but is instead only concerned with winning and with spreading their worldview and propagating their worldview. And you know what? In an intellectual discussion, I hate it to say it, and it might sound cliche, but it's not about winning. It's about learning things. It's about expressing your points and your arguments and seeing what the other side has to present. And in a debate or a discussion, there's a certain code of honor, I guess you should say. It's unofficial, but there's a certain honor that both sides must uphold, which is respectful debate ethic. And unfortunately, if you think Shock of God has even the slightest bit of common decency to uphold such ethics, then you should really watch one of his videos and tell me. And then there's the um, problem with fallacies and straw man arguments. I'm not saying that I haven't made these mistakes in a debate before. I have, and it's perfectly okay to. But when you start having a pattern of arguments that contain a ton of fallacies or that are completely straw man from their original context, then we start having a problem. Oh boy. So for those of you who actually want to challenge me to a debate or a discussion, and I know who you are, some of you are 
perfectly normal, perfectly good people who are genuinely interested in learning my side. And for that, I thank you. But for those people who are like Shock of God and you know who you are, I would like to respond to your debate challenge with a loud and resounding fuck off. I am not in the least bit scared of your arguments, or in your case, non-arguments, because they are really just regurgitated creation wiki facts, and I've seen them all. Old dogs really don't learn new tricks. You creationists, well, you radical creationists in particular, really don't learn from your mistakes. You do it all. Fallacy of composition, appeal to higher authority, appeal to ignorance, god of the gaps. And, and so much more. People like Shock of God are only interested in shoving their dogma down other people's throats. And then when we actually have a valid point to present, they stick their fingers in their ears and say la 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 la. We know how to recognize that. We atheists aren't stupid, for the most part. Now, don't expect me, or any other atheist for that matter, to sit down patiently with atheist who doesn't want to learn, who automatically closes themselves off with any argument from the other side. If you really want to hear those facts, then go to the fucking library. Don't expect me to waste my time and try and present the facts that I've worked pretty damn hard to find to someone who doesn't even want to listen. And finally, if you think that you deserve a platform of credibility even though you treat the other side like complete trash, then you are sadly mistaken. So, until next time, thanks for watching and may the truth always be heard.